All right, guys. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create the next section of our website, which is going to be the testimonial section. Should be pretty simple and straightforward, but because as you can see, we've got two columns, six columns for this and six columns for this. So um, let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this section. I'm gonna bring that down over here. Now this will again start following the normal properties of you know having one zero um, 1920 maximum width um, and you know 72 pixel padding on either side. So um, we're gonna you know make sure that we follow the same principles. So I'm gonna start off by moving this over to the far left and um, probably I'm gonna go ahead and copy some text over here. So go ahead and copy and paste. And uh, I'm gonna go to uh, the again this one copy paste. And here we're gonna say uh, see all testimonials, right? We can take this line and kind of shrink it. Yep, pretty cool. Um, now we want this to be six columns. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And we kind of want to move this inside and make this. And um, yeah, let's look at the spacing. We've got 24 at the top and 40 at the bottom. So we want to make sure that it's the same. So 24 at the top and uh, 40 at the bottom, right? Pretty cool. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and, you know, put, put this into a frame. So right click and choose frame selection. And the reason we're doing this is because we want some spacing on the left and right, because as you can see over here, uh, it really does not end over here. We have a little bit of spacing around 64 pixels. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, kind of shrink this down until we get like 64 pixels, right? I think it's 48, so let's make it 48 I think that's fine so we got this 48 pixels so now we have this extra gap which looks good all right up next we've got this um, testimonial block and uh, it's pretty much uh, the exact same way as we have created this right so you know in fact I'm just going to grab this itself and I'm going to hold alt and option and drag this down okay and we make sure that it kind of fits properly over here so we've got make sure that this is 120 pixels on the top um, now, a couple of things that we want to define. So since we defined a height for this, sorry, uh, for this image of where we said 620 pixels, we want to define a height for this also. And that height is going to be 360. So I'm going to set this to 360, right? Now, here's a really, co really cool thing. What we can do is we can put these two into an auto layout. So we can right click and say um, auto layout. And now when I reduce this to 360, that also kind of fits, um, you know, properly adapts itself, right? Now, a couple of things that we want to do here for this one, we want to start off by deleting the background color because we don't need a background color. I'm going to add a stroke and the stroke is going to be this color, okay? And uh, the other thing here is that we have gone ahead and increased the padding a bit. So here we've got 64 and 64 on either sides. So I'm going to go and set this to be 64 so I can set the inner corner to be 64 and the top corner to be 64. Um, now that's gonna create some issues. So what I would have to do is I'm going to select this text and kind of shrink it down so that it perfectly, you know, fits the way we want. Maybe a few pixels like so. And uh, yeah, that should, that should pretty, that should be pretty good. All right. And uh, the next thing is the fact that this is a different font size. So this is around 24 pixel bold. So I'm gonna select this and this is obviously 24 pixel bold what we have. Uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and set this to 24, uh, heading 24. And obviously it all goes inside one line. So I'm gonna shrink this down over here until we it kind of looks fine. And I think the height of this, is, the width of this is 508. So I'm gonna set this also to be 508. And now it looks perfect, right? Now, the other thing is that we want to have a particular distance of 64 pixels between this and this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that uh, the distance here is 64. So what I can do is if I select the auto layout box, you see we have this setting which says spacing between items. I'm gonna set this to be 64. So we get the 64 pixel spacing between these items. And now all I have to do is just go ahead and change these values. So here I can say Richard Owens and CEO company one, right? So I'm gonna say Richard Owens and uh, this is going to be bold. So I'm gonna say um, heading 18 and uh, we do not have a heading 18 yet. So I'm going to unlink it, make this bold and then add this to our typography scale. I'm gonna say this heading underscore 18 pixels, right? And let's just go make sure that we put this properly in the hierarchy. So, yep, there we go, right? 
Great, now I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna make a copy by pressing Control C, Control V. And what's going to happen is that it's going to space this also outside, but that's not really what we want. So what we're gonna do first of all, is I'm gonna say CEO and say company one, right? And this is not gonna be heading. This is going to be paragraph 18 because we want it to be regular font weight. And we'll select these two and group these, all right? And once I group this, what I can do is change the distance between this group elements to be four. So what happens is that this 64 is between the child elements, which is this group one, and then the text that says Robin, all right? There we go, that's pretty much how we want it. And that's pretty much done. All we gotta do is go ahead and duplicate this. So I'm gonna give it a spacing of 120 pixels. So I'm gonna move this to 120, and I'm gonna select this again and drag this down, and I'm gonna say this also to be 120, all right? Now the only thing we gotta do is go ahead and change the images. So I'm gonna copy this image, Control-Alt-C and Control-Alt-V, you guys will have to get the images from the assets in the description below. Paste and um, copy and paste, right? Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these three inside another auto layout. So I'm gonna right click and say auto layout, okay? So what's gonna happen is, for example, the height of one of them decreases, it automatically adjusts. So let's actually see that in action. So this is number two, so I'm gonna copy this and paste, and as you can see, it automatically adapts, which is really cool. And uh, this is gonna be Richard Owens, and I'm gonna say this is gonna be Emily Parker, and uh, company number two, and uh, this is gonna be number three, where I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and go ahead and paste this, and this is gonna be Vincent Rudd, all right. And uh, that is pretty much it. So we can select all these elements and right click and choose frame selection. And we're gonna shift these over like so and shift this also on the top and bottom. So we've got a good amount of spacing, right? Now, one last thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and add the properties. So I'm gonna grab this and bring this down. And uh, this is going to be um, testimonials. And uh, I'm gonna double click on this and call this testimonials as well. And so the image height is gonna be 360 pixels. And that's pretty much everything that we wanna know. So we we'll go ahead and delete this. So it kinda looks like this, right? And uh, this looks fine and this looks perfect, right? So in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and create this tabs section. So I'll see you guys in the next video.